First of all, give me your take on this Apple versus Google situation. What exactly happened here? Yeah, Emily. So what happened here was uh, what we call a zero day uh, vulnerability where uh, vulnerability exists and hackers are aware of that uh, vulnerability before any patch uh, exists uh, to, to close it. And that vulnerability opened up the iPhone platform for uh, any attack through a malicious website. Just by surfing to the website through Safari, uh, a malicious uh, malware could be downloaded to the device and gain access, which could be escalated to have full access to the whole device. Uh, so, and malwares like this could then get access to iMessages, uh, photos, locations, uh, and can do all sorts of damage, all the way from deleting data, extorting, extorting uh, uh, the, the user, as well as uh, running a full um, uh, espionage attack, uh, similar to what we saw in, uh, in SoftCell about a month ago. Going from the telco side, we now see that uh, possibility going from the device itself. Now, Carter K, it's interesting that Google told Apple about this privately. They had time to patch it, but then still made it public <laughs> and embarrassed them, um, which does not seem so white hat. What's your take on this? I mean, it, what's interesting about this one and what we always ask about uh, when these attacks occur is, can anything be left behind? Mm. Is there a malware that can be left behind? And in this attack, it seems like that possibility certainly exists, which is concerning for users and for users to understand that um, no matter which device they're using, there are going to be vulnerabilities. There are going to be uh, places where they may not be uh, necessarily safe going into and to be smart about where they're using uh, their devices and how they're getting access. Roy, do you believe there's something disingenuous about Apple's privacy marketing and you know the billboard saying what happens on your iPhone stays on your iPhone when they can't guarantee that? So I think, uh, you know, as an approach, Apple uh, has taken an approach of uh, keeping a close and fully integrated uh, technology stack, which did help them to protect the platform. But uh, it's also fair to say that no platform is fully safe. And uh, we live in a world where we need to be in a post-breach mindset. We need to assume that if a processing unit uh, exists, it's hackable. Uh, and, it's, uh, and it can be breached and has vulnerabilities. And I think only with that kind of a mindset, we can really protect ourselves.